This is the seasonal stock and ETF report for today, September 12, 2022. Take a look at Walmart. Top of the list of Dow 30. A sharp ratio of 3.96. It's just impressive how consistent the stock has returned 234 days from today until May 3rd. Walmart has returned to low profit, 6.85%. But sharp ratio being so incredibly high, 3.96 means that it was very consistent. Look at it. 4.31, 5.97, 6.74, the highest one, 9.54. Let's take a look at the stats for it. 9.54 was the highest. Standard deviation is 1.49% for average profit of 6.85. This is one consistent return, although it's not extremely high, but it's consistent. Let's look at United Healthcare. Also, this is one amazing stock. Last week or two weeks ago, we went through it and showed that this stock is was even more explosive than Apple if you would have bought it and held it last 20 years. Microsoft and then Visa. Microsoft, although it was consistent for 10 years, it lost in 2021. JP Morgan, also a good up, but look at this down coming in October, so this is one of the stocks that does much better here. Most likely 8.22% sharp ratio dropped from 1.41 to 0.96. Let's see, average profit of 8.22, average profit of 7.71. They're both good trades, however, I would wait till mid to late october it's a better time to buy jp morgan johnson and johnson 92 days 5.66 percent decent sharp ratio but again look at this big huge drop here better to buy it here even further Intel loss in 2012. We can always. What happens if we switch this to nine years just to get rid of this 2012? Sharp ratio jumps up to 1.57 last nine years. However, look at this huge drop here. Most likely, this is a better choice. Also, we can probably get a short out of this. Yeah, not a great one. Although it's six out of 10 years. This is um, a good down. What if we just do it here? That's not a great one either. Last four years, this portion has dropped significantly. Boeing, a long for the next two months. Boeing doesn't really drop much during the September, October time when everybody else does. It does just go sideways a little here. IBM, look at the sharp ratio. It has been rising. I mean, the opportunity, a short opportunity has been, been on forever, but it's been rising in its quality. We can probably even make it much better. Yeah, 
gets better. IBM likes to drop in this date range. Middle of October to end of October. And not a little bit, 7.5%. That's impressive. This is a good potential options trade, and then you can jump back in it right here as a long. And it would have been very consistent. I'm sure our opportunities will pick this up when the time comes. If we actually go and take a look at, let's say, end of October. 25 do we see IBM on the list there it is this is what the software picked up probably we can go to November and take a look at IBM there not as good Sharp ratio drops. This is, this is a better sharp ratio right around here. But you can play around with this and find out what's the best time frame for it. Home Depot. A consistent winner. Good stocks to hold. Traveler. A very short term long opportunity. 3.5% in 23 days. This time of the year, very, no, this is actually, we are in our November. We should go back to our current day. You just refresh and it automatically goes to today. American Express, a very short jump. Procter and Gamble. Yeah, these are not great opportunities. Good ones are usually on the top, but we are just in doubt 30. How about NASDAQ? Keurig is still on the top of the list on NASDAQ. Impressive. People buy, drink coffee this time of the year. This is even better. Look at that. By just changing the window, the sharp ratio jumped to 3.2. That's impressive. This is when you, when you want to buy it in early to mid-October. What if we go further? Yeah, this is the time to buy it. I would say late October is the time to jump into Keurig and just keep it for till the following year. NetEase, Microsoft, Broadcom, these are all on the list, impressive winners. S&P, Walmart on the top, of course, with stairs following with a decent sharp ratio of 2.45. And then the Everest, another good one. Russell has Walmart on the top of the list, and Wilshire has also Walmart on the top of the list. Brady Corp. We'll sign up for a free account and you'll be able to see all of our opportunities and pick the best ones. Let's just quickly take a look at ETFs. Physical server, silver, short ETF. It is a very short term, 94 days from September 12th until December 14. Average profit of 8.83% on a short on ETF. This is pretty good. Possible trade. 
All right, that's it for today.